In recent years, no illness has provoked more questions, more controversy, than cancer of the lung. Nearly everybody knows about the apparent statistical association between smoking and lung cancer. One of the largest surveys which helped to produce these statistics was conducted by the American Cancer Society, which selected more than a million men and women to fill out questionnaires about health, past illnesses, smoking, and other aspects of living. And I had our computer do a matching problem. I, for this analysis, took the records of men who had never smoked regularly and the records of men who smoked 20 more cigarettes a day. Then I had the computer take the first man who had never smoked regularly and look through all the files for a, a smoker who was as much like him as possible. Dr. Hammond managed to find 39,000 such pairs. At the end of 44 months, there were 600 and some deaths in the non-smokers and 1,300 and some deaths in the smokers. About 15 or 20 times as many uh, smokers as non-smokers had died of uh, of uh, lung cancer. Smoking, of course, has been associated statistically with other health problems. One of them is coronary illness. We found that there were more than twice as many uh, smokers who died of heart disease as non-smokers. Emphysema in the United States is caused primarily by smoking, and it's a major cause of disability. 